Hello Key Stage 2 and welcome to this week's online virtual PE lesson. I hope you had a great half term, it's lovely to see you all again. This half term, for the next couple of weeks we're going to be looking at some fundamental skills. So skills that we use across PE in lots of different sports and activities. So this week we're going to be focusing on our speed, agility and quickness, so SAQ. So for our warm up today, I've got a line of socks. Now I've got five socks in my line, but you can have as many socks as you want. And what we're going to do, we're going to transfer the sock from one side to the other. Okay. So to do that, I'm going to start in the middle. I'm going to change my direction, so I'm moving sideways to my right, because the socks are on my right. I'm going to then bend down and pick my sock up with my right hand, because that's the closest hand to the sock. Okay, so I bend down, I pick the sock up. I transfer hands, okay, so that now the sock is in my left hand. I then step across, and I've got a marker in front of me, which you can't quite see in the video, marking where I'm going to put my sock in line, okay, so that each of my socks goes in a nice straight line. Okay, so I would then place that sock down, come forwards to the side, pick it up, transfer hands, okay, and the same thing again all the way until all five of my socks have transferred over. Okay, just like that. Now the socks are on my left side. Okay, so I would now transfer them from left to right. Just like that, okay. And the challenge is, you're going to see how long it takes you to go from right to left, okay, get back into position, and then go from left to right, okay? So you're going to see how long it takes you. So have a little practice, okay, and then it's going to be competition time. Right, boys and girls, are you ready? So you'll need a stopwatch for this, so you're going to time yourselves. You're going to go from right to left. And then get back into the middle, okay, and then you're going to start again. Ready? On your marks, get set, go! Keep up the great work. Fantastic. So whatever time you've got, you would now try and beat it. So you finish when the socks are back where they started on your right hand side. Okay. So now, have a little practice and see if you can beat your score. Fantastic boys and girls. What things are going to be important for us if, when we're trying to beat our score in this activity? So fast feet, absolutely. Change of direction, so agility, brilliant. Absolutely, so making sure that the hand transfer, okay, from one hand to the other is quick. Making sure we're picking the sock up with the closest hand. All those things are really, really important. Making sure we keep our head up so that we can see where we're going and we can see where the next sock is going to be. Fantastic. So this time, we're going to change it ever so slightly. Okay, because what we're going to do is we're going to do it on the way back as well. So we're going to go forwards and we're going to go backwards. So it will look like this. I'll do it nice and slow to start off with. Exactly the same on the way there. Just like that. On the way back, left to right, but now. I'm going, having to go backwards. Okay, please make sure that you've got plenty of space around you. Okay, you don't want to be walking backwards and going into a wall or tripping over something, so make sure you're working in plenty of space. So this time we're going to go forwards and we're going to go backwards. Okay, we're going to set ourselves a time and then we're going to see if we can beat it. Are we ready? On your marks, get set, go! Back 
into the middle. Fantastic. Excellent work, boys and girls. Now, I want you to see if you can have a practice at home. Persevere, see if you can beat your score. Great stuff, boys and girls. Well done. So, girls and boys, welcome to the main activity part of today's session, where we're going to focus on our SAQ. So I've got several different types of footwork that we're going to look at to try and speed our feet up. Maintaining balance when we're changing direction and trying to avoid the obstacles that we're using. If you can make sure that you've got an item that's nice and soft, okay, we use socks in the warm-up so it would make sense if you can use socks for this. Um, to start off with, you just need to make a line with your socks. I've got four socks. Again, you can change the number so you can start to increase the number as you go if you want to, to try and challenge yourself. Um, we'll talk about that a little bit later on. But I've got four socks to start off with, and each sock is one step apart. Okay. To start off with, all we're going to do is we're going to lift our feet up and lift our knees up. And we're going to go one foot in each of the spaces without touching the socks. Okay, that's really, really important. Okay, I'm going to have my arms out okay and not only will they help to balance but also by pumping my arms that's going to help me to speed my feet up okay so it's just one step in each okay one step in each space just like that excellent work boys and girls Fantastic, okay. This time we're going to see if we can do two feet in each space, okay. So it was, it's almost like marching, so one, two, okay, just like that. So one, two in each space, just like that. Excellent. How are you finding this at home? Brilliant. Okay. So this time we're going to go in and out. Okay. So as we go in and out, okay, we're going to create a zigzag. Okay. So it's just like that. Now, what you'll notice is every time I step, my feet are the same distance apart. Okay. I'm not stepping around like that and then taking a really big step and then going to a small step. I'm having, keeping my feet working together all the time. So nice, small, quick steps, okay? You'll notice I've got my arms out helping me to balance, okay? Just like that. Have a practice at home. Nice, quick steps. Good, and stop there. Great work. So this time we're going to go sideways, okay? And we're just going to do two feet in each space like we did before. Okay? Just like that. Again, pumping my arms. Great work, girls and boys, keep going. Fantastic. So, we're going to do our zigzag again, but on the way back, we're going to see if we can go backwards, okay? So nice small steps there, keep your balance. When you've gone around your last one, we're going to see if we can go backwards. Make sure you're aware of what's going on behind you, have a little look. Fantastic, and again, nice small steps. Good, keep going. 
You're working really, really well, boys and girls. Keep this up. That's it. Keep your weight forwards. Even when you're moving backwards, your weight's still forwards. Like when we did the goalkeeping in the football, to make sure that we don't fall over. Okay, our weight's forwards, we're not going to fall backwards. So, this time, we're going to do what we call calf rotations. So we're going to step around and draw a circle around the sock. Okay, now we move to the next one. And then to the next one. And then to the last one. Okay. Now what's really important with this, we're not turning our body around and walking in a circle. We're always facing the same direction. It's just our feet that are moving. Okay? Just our feet. Our body's always facing forwards. Nice and central. Keeping our balance. Okay? Are we ready? Off we go. That's it. Fantastic. Can you draw a circle in the opposite direction? Excellent work. Now can you alternate between clockwise and anti-clockwise? So one clockwise and one anti-clockwise. So nice small steps. You're working so well boys and girls, keep up this great work. And stop there. So this time, we're going to still alternate clockwise and anti-clockwise. We're going to go forwards all the way there, and then backwards on the way back. Are you ready? Off you go. And again. Fantastic work, boys and girls. You are working so, so well. I am so proud of you. So. What we're going to do this time, we're going to go in and out, okay, sideways. So it's going to look like this, so it's forwards and backwards. Forwards and backwards, just like that. Fantastic. Again, you can put your arms, and help your feet go that bit faster. Great stuff, and stop there. So this time, you're going to go two feet, and you're going to go into two spaces, so two forwards, okay? So one, two. Then you're gonna do one backwards. One, two, one backwards. One, two, one backwards. Turn around, one, two, one backwards. One, two, one backwards. One, two. One, two. One backwards. Good, keep going. One, two, one backwards. One, two, 
One backwards. One, two. One backwards. Good. One, two. One backwards. One, two. One backwards. One, two. One backwards. Boys and girls, you are working so well. So I'm going to challenge you. How could we make this harder? Fantastic. So we could change the distance between the socks. Okay. Making the socks tighter together is going to speed our feet up because our adjustments okay, are going to have to be that much quicker. So it's going to be harder for us to maintain balance. It's going to be harder for us to coordinate. But as we challenge ourselves, we're going to start to speed our feet up. We're going to develop that control and that coordination. So I want you to move your socks a little bit closer together now. And I want you to choose a combination, a mixture, or one particular of the footwork activities that we've looked at so far in our SAQP lesson. It's entirely up to you which one you choose, okay? I'm gonna choose one myself, and I would like you to choose one at home. I've decided that the one I'm going to choose to do is I'm going to choose to go in a zigzag, okay? But I would like you to choose one for yourself at home, okay? Are you ready? Off you go. And your challenge is, can you do so without touching any of the socks? Great work, keep going. And rest there, boys and girls, brilliant stuff. So now, you're going to set yourself a time challenge. You're going to see, which we have, ev whichever footwork you want to choose, it's entirely up to you. You can add more socks in at this point if you want to. Again, you can change the gaps if you want to, if you found that a little bit difficult. Move the socks up a little bit further apart if you found it easy. You can try and move them a little bit closer together. But I want you to try and see how quickly you can go there and back okay without stopping if you touch a sock you've got to add one second onto your time and you're going to see if you can then beat your score okay so I've decided I'm gonna go forwards and backwards this time okay I'm still sticking with the four socks at the moment okay and I'm gonna see how quickly I can go there and back are we ready three two one go Fantastic. So now you're going to see if you can beat your score. And I want you to question, how are you going to do that? I noticed on the way there, I didn't pump my arms. But when I did on the way back, I went faster. So I know now that I need to remember to pump my arms because that way I know my feet are gonna go faster. And hopefully that's going to reduce my time. Are we ready? We're gonna try and beat our score. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Fantastic. Did you manage to beat your score at home? Fantastic. Great work. If you didn't, don't worry. Carry on practicing. Carry on persevering. Think about what things you're going to be able to do to speed up your footwork and improve your SAQ. Excellent work. This time, I've decided to challenge myself that little bit further and I'm going to not only move the socks closer together, but I am going to see if I can add another two socks in. Okay, so I'm really challenging myself this time. So again, I'm gonna choose a different type of footwork and I'm gonna see if I can set myself a target and then I'm gonna try and beat it, okay? So for this one, I'm gonna do zigzag, but I'm just gonna go backwards.
Great work, boys and girls. Now have a practice and see if you can beat your score. So girls and boys, welcome to the game part of this week's online virtual PE lesson on speed, agility and quickness. So for this activity, we are going to play a game called mirroring. So you'll notice that I've got two socks on the floor and these socks are about two steps apart. Okay. What you have got to try and do is you've got to try and bend down and touch the sock okay, as fast as possible. But to get there, first you're going to have to adjust your feet using your SAQ skills that we've been looking at during this session. Okay. So you're going to have to step across, bend down, and then touch the sock with the closest hand. Okay. Now, if you've got somebody at home that you can compete against, okay, you could use four socks, okay, set up so that you're mirroring one another, and you've then got to try and beat your partner to that sock. So one will be the leader, one will mirror, okay, and you can sort of try and trick your partner, and then when you commit to going to a sock, they've got to try and touch their sock before you get to touch yours, and whoever gets to touch the sock first, will then uh, get the point, okay? So to start off with, well, you're going to mirror me, have a little practice against me, and then you can try competing against somebody at home, okay? Are we ready? Let's go. Good. That's the one, keep going. Keep watching. Good. Keep going. Nice small little steps. Keep your balance. Keep focused. Good. Well done. Fantastic. And stop there. So we've had a little practice, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to call out the sock that you're going to go to, okay? And I'll call that sock out whilst I'm in the middle, okay? So, for example, if I called out right, you would go to the sock that's on your right. If I called out left, you will go to the sock that's on your left. Are you ready? That's it, keep with me, keep mirroring me. Left. Good, well done. Left. Good, keep going. Right. Excellent. Left. Great work. Right, left, 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 good, right, right, left, and stop there. So this time, we're going to go to the opposite one that I call out. So if I call out left, we've got to go to right, if I call out right, We've got to go to left. Are we ready? Left. Good. Right. Excellent. Right. Good work. Left. 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 Right. Fantastic. So this time, you are going to move to the sock that is the opposite to the one I moved to. So if I move to left, you're going to move to right. Okay? Have you got that? Okay? So if I bend down, and touch the right one, 
you're going to be bending down and touching the left one. Are you ready? Let's go. Good, so I've gone to left, so you should have gone to right. Brilliant, keep going. Excellent work. Great stuff. Fantastic. How are you doing at home? Who's in the lead? Great stuff. We have worked so hard on your mirroring in this game activity. I am so, so impressed. You could maybe set yourselves a little target now. So you could set yourself a score, okay? Every time you touch a sock, back to the middle, one point. Touch the sock, back to the middle, two points, okay? Three points, four points. Maybe see how many points you could get in a minute, okay? And then try and beat that score. You could have a little competition with somebody at home, okay, like we said earlier, you could mirror them, or you could try and beat each other's scores. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson on SAQ, and I look forward to seeing you soon.